to back at Lancaster Park, it's Alan Hewson that restarts this fascinating, absorbing and highly exciting shield match between Canterbury and Wellington. 14 minutes left of a match which one has a very strong feeling that this is going to be another one of those dramatic pages in the history of Ranfurly Shield Rugby. And coming in over the top and killing the ball, of Wellington forwards have been penalised. here for Ellen Newson as he looks across the paddock sees that Fraser really is too far away so from the boot of Murray Mexted that's where the attack is launched well taken by Deans in front of his own posts oh a big punt from Deans but it's nowhere near the touchline Fraser 10 metres from his own line <laughs> thinking of having on Victor Simpson and Simpson gives him an ungentlemanly shove after he kicked the ball and rather wisely for Simpson, he takes off in a hurry. The ball is still in play. Both teams seemingly unable to find touch. This ball rebounds off Craig Green. Back there is Wiley. And oh, again, an opportunity there for Green. Hangs his head in despair as the ball popped out of his arms and rolled into touch with the line open. Fifteen metres short of the goal line. And Canterbury to feed the scrum. This is a big one, Tani. A big scrum. Atkins. Smith. Chance for McMaster. But Fraser has him wrapped up well and truly. Fifteen metres in from touch. And Fraser setting up the recharge for Wellington. My goodness, this match has just been played at such a tremendous pace. There is just no time for breathing. I'm sure every player on the paddock would be enormously relieved to see that ball go into touch. No doubt about that. Oh. They were long sequences of plays. They, they, both sides putting high up and under, all chasing them, and as you say, I'm sure they're pleased for that respite. The Ranfurly Shield sits over the back of the lineup. That's what's at stake in this match this afternoon. Famous old log of wood dominated the provincial rugby scene in New Zealand now for 80 years. Andrew McMaster displaying his fullback skills there as he controlled that ball well. Now he's kicked it right across the paddock, straight into the arms of Hewson. He's got Wilson there with him. On halfway goes Wilson. Simpson again on the break. He hadn't stepped into touch. Hayes over the 10 metre line. Green there as well. Back inside to Elby Anderson. Has he got the speed? Anderson. It's a try. to 12. Canterbury back in the lead. Well, Fraser ran with the ball. Uh, Houston ran with the ball. And uh, Wilson was towed through, picked up by Victor Simpson, and he took off down the sideline, inches from the sideline. Ducked inside, fed it to Hayes, out to Green, into Thorpe, who looked at the line and took off and just managed to go over for a great try. Try was unconverted by Robbie Deans and Canterbury retain that single solitary point lead by 13 points to 12 after eight minutes of play in the second half. So two tries in this match to Tony Thorpe. It's a, a rare occurrence to see a lock forward score two tries in a rugby match. It is, and I'm sure Alex Ask has played for a big game and he's really giving it to his coach. So now the Wellington team reconsider their options they no longer can sit comfortably on that lead and the risks will now have to be taken by Wellington I feel this has happened for the last five minutes so both teams have been taking risks and one team sooner or later had to make a break so Sorensen gathers it in for Wiley, having such a wonderful game at first 5-8 for Wellington today. Bernie Fraser, Houston there as well. And Fraser going to do it all on his own, maybe. Deans, a few metres short of his own goal line. Zin go the Wellington forwards. That's the try line for Wellington, just a couple of metres away. And 
My goodness, there was some resolve and commitment from Bernie Fraser in that movement. We've had 10 minutes of play in the second half of this Rand Furley Shield match at Lancaster Park. Canterbury ahead by just the one point. As a move horribly backfires for Wellington underneath the Canterbury goalpost. It's, I was about to say cleared by Glean, Green, but the ball was charged down by Wellington. Still inside the Canterbury 22. It's there for the Wellington backs again. And it's a three-on-one situation here, Salmon. Through the gap goes Pollock. And Wellington back into the lead. What a seesaw match. Alan Pollock, this utility back in the Wellington side, playing at second 5-8 today. And Wellington, as they did in the first half, bouncing back from that Canterbury try and a victor lead once again. It's 16-13 to, to Wellington. Here's the ball, comes out, taken in by Baxter, drove forward, set up by, out to Sorensen, and straight along the back line, and through went Pollock with not a hand touched on him, not a hand laid on him.